The enemy defenses are weak here. They must think this is a worthless area. Well, <laughs> I've totally forgotten my line. <laughs> you want to snuggle after work? <laughs> In order to increase the mobility of this economical ATAC, the defensive shielding has been reduced. Because of the scout's low cost and reduced shielding, this ATAC is especially well suited for slowing down the enemy when deployed in mass numbers. With a cool name like Blender and this hot price, you can't go wrong. Performance shouldn't be a concern because at this price, you can always buy another. Guaranteed. This desert ATAC was developed using the technology found in most screwdrivers. It is outdated and has poor maneuverability, but is good for slowing down the enemy. The Slayer was the first attempt to develop ATACs for cold regions. Since it is a first generation ATAC, it does have a few minor bugs, but don't let that stop you from purchasing one. Just ask Van, and he'll tell you that Galum is one tough fighter. This ATAC was developed especially for use underwater. The Nutcase was developed with tropical regions in mind. It has poor maneuverability, but an excellent price. Eagle is a transport ship capable of carrying one ATAC. It is equipped with a utilitarian 20mm Vulcan gun. Strap on the gloves with this ATAC. Originally designed as a boxing bot, it has been rewired and shielded for combat. Its defensive ability is inferior to its offensive power, so keep those gloves up. The Freak is a second generation nutcase. Many improvements in the initial design have been made, most notably in its defense. Stick it to your enemies with its underwater attack. It has a strong offense in the water, but if you get attacked on land, well, let's talk about that later. Much later. Grind up your enemies and spit them out in this light ATAC designed for use in tropical regions. The Marauder is specially designed for desert combat. What it lacks in hand-to-hand -hand abilities, it makes up for in deadly weapons. This remodeled Slayer has better defensive power than its predecessor. With the improvement, the Slayer functions even better in cold climates. The Poor Boy is especially designed for wetland warfare. This all-performance ATAC bearing their namesake is the Rebel Army Standard. The dependable shields are made of a highly polished plutonium alloy. The Blue Claw is designed primarily for underwater combat and features an appendage that is specially suited for hand-to-hand -hand encounters. No one will stand in your way when you have the Enforcer. Specially suited for tropical regions, it comes equipped with medium-sized interceptor missiles. The name of this weapon alone strikes fear into most people. It is designed for hand-to-hand -hand combat in the desert. This final version of the Slayer has been improved to produce the highest quality possible in a cold weather ATAC. Believe me. This highly maneuverable desert ATAC was designed as a first strike unit. Just don't get it into a fist fight. The Shocker is the most dependable ATAC for finishing off enemy forces in the last stages of battle. The Electro is a retrofitted Shocker. 
The conversion kit has improved offensive and defensive power dramatically, making this the most powerful of the all-terrain models. This tactical destroyer was designed with four main batteries and the ability to carry one ATAC. Since the defenses of this unit are quite low, it should be used for transport only, avoiding battle at all costs. This standard ground ship is designed to carry not one, not two, but three ATACs. ATAC cargo is well protected with the extra shielding and six batteries present on the carrier. In order to increase the mobility of this economical ATAC, the defensive shielding has been reduced. Because of the scout's low cost and reduced shielding, this ATAC is especially well suited for slowing down the enemy when deployed in mass numbers. With a cool name like Blender and this hot price, you can't go wrong. Performance shouldn't be a concern because at this price, you can always buy another. Guaranteed. We've rescued the protobots from the incineration yard just for you. Since it's one of the first ATACs converted by the rebel army, the performance is below current standards. The Star Truck is a small space transport ship that can defend most payloads with its 25mm Balkan gun and basic shield strength. This well-balanced Interceptor Series ATAC was designed exclusively for use in space. The guard's low cost makes it a must for any serious army. The replica is a remodeled protobot with a sleek new look. Its overall performance has been improved, especially in the area of durability. This all-performance ATAC bearing their namesake is the Rebel Army Standard. The dependable shields are made of a highly polished plutonium alloy. Designed to break through any defense line in space, the Raven features strong defensive power and good mobility. Our top designers created this ATAC with an emphasis on strong offensive power at the expense of its defensive capability. With a name like this, we expect to sell millions. The Killer can cover vast territories in space. However, its defense and durability is slightly weaker than other ATACs in its class. Explore space in style. We retrofitted the Killer to be suited for expansion of the front line during battle. As such, the Explorer is front line perfection in every sense of the word. Give your enemy the old evil eye. This experimental ATAC was developed to be on the front line of most battles. What it lacks in brains, it makes up for in strength. The Stripe is one of the most powerful space weapons developed using the Evil Eye technology. Race to the front line with a sprinter. This space tactical battleship is equipped with four main batteries and can carry one ATAC. It is a perfect choice for expanding your front line. The Crusher is the most powerful battleship available to the Rebel Army. It is equipped with five main batteries and can hold up to three ATACs. 